Uh, greetings. Uh, let us talk about PPE. That is personal protective equipment. There are two ways that we could block the chain of infection. Uh, one is by practicing proper hand hygiene and the second one is by wearing personal protective equipment. So if you look at the chain of infection, there are a couple of ways infection can be transmitted. One, through air by droplets or airborne transmission. And the second one is by contact. And in order to interrupt this uh, chain of infection, it is critical to practice proper hand hygiene and also to practice wearing proper PPE and taking precaution to remove PPE properly and discarding it appropriately. When healthcare workers make mistakes in wearing is otherwise called donning or removing otherwise called doffing, donning and doffing of PPE, they can actually make quite a few mistakes and they can get exposed to infection. So let us make sure that we practice proper hand hygiene, proper donning of PPE and proper doffing of PPE to protect healthcare workers and interrupt the chain of infection. So depending upon the type of infection, the PPE requirements vary. As you can see here, this is level 1 PPE consisting of mask and gloves. Level 2 PPE consisting of gown, gloves as well as a N95 respirator and level 3 PPE again the same gown, gloves and a special type of respirator. As you can see here what level 2 and level 3 they also wear hair net and shoe covers. So let us talk about donning of personal protective equipment in the endoscopy suite. So before we go there, let us look at what all components are required for personal protective equipment. They include a hairnet, impermeable gown, face mask or N95 mask, face shield or goggles and gloves. Hairnet protects the scalp, gowns the torso, mask the face, face shield and goggles protect the eyes, gloves protect the hands. How about donning PPE? There is a special sequence of wearing or donning PPE. Let us go through that sequence. First hairnet, second gown, third mask, fourth either face shield or goggles and fifth gloves. So let us learn about how to properly put on the gown, the mask, goggles and gloves. Let's talk about the gown. You want to fasten behind the neck and waist, 
and the gown should cover the arms all the way to the wrist and the torso from neck to knees. How about the mask? You want to make sure that the mask nicely fits on the bridge of the nose and it should be snug to the face and chin. And whether you use the ties or elastic band, you need to put them on appropriately either to the ears or to the back of the head and tied. How about protective eyewear? You want to adjust the protective eyewear so that they fit comfortably on the face and cover the eyes. Next, gloves. One needs to extend the cuffs of the gloves over the gown where the, it meets the wrist. It should go over the wrist. So let us look at proper PPE for droplet and contact transmission. It consists of hairnet, face shield or goggles, a surgical mask, an impermeable gown, gloves and shoe covers. How about PPE for airborne transmission? When there is airborne transmission, you need to use N95 mask. In addition to hairnet, face shield, goggles or goggles, impermeable gown, gloves and shoe covers. So, we need to practice how to don PPE, pick up the right PPE, wear them in the proper order and wear them properly. Let's talk about removing or doffing of personal protective equipment in the endoscopy suite. Again, let's look at the PPE. We have a hairnet, gown, mask, face shield or goggles and gloves. So you have all of them on and in what sequence do you remove them? First, gloves. Next, gown. Following that, goggles. And the last one to come out is the mask. And if you want, you can keep the hairnet or you could remove the hairnet depending upon the circumstances. So, here is the person with the full PPE and let us look at how do you remove the gloves and in what sequence and what is the technique. If you look at it, there is a special way of removing the gloves. You remove the first glove by peeling forward from the palm area and with the removed glove in the gloved hand, you slide your fingers underneath the remaining glove at the wrist and pull it over the first glove. It is important to not touch the outside of the second glove. And then you dispose those gloves in the container for infectious material. Let's look at how do you remove the goggles. You want to remove the goggles by lifting the headband or the earpieces from the back and it is important to not touch, not touch the front of the goggles. If they are reusable, you, you could put them in a container after cleaning them and if they are not usable, reusable, you could dispose them in a waste container for infectious material. How do you remove the gown? If you have ties in the back, it's not a bad idea to ask your colleague to untie and then pull them out. So, you want to turn the gown inside out and dispose in a waste container. It is important to pull the gown away from the body 
and not touch the front of the gown where it is contaminated. How do you remove the mask? You want to again remove the mask by untying the bottom tie or the elastic first and then the top without touching the front. The reason why you want to do the bottom one first is to avoid contaminating the front of the chest if you try to remove the top one as it falls to the front. So important to untie the bottom tie or the elastic one first and then the top and without touching the front you remove it and dispose it off in the waste container for infectious material. As I record this uh, video, we are in the midst of uh, COVID-19 and COVID-19 has been a serious threat to all of us, especially in the endoscopy unit. And uh, some have set up a proper doffing room where you could go into the room and remove your PPE. And if in case you did not have a proper doffing room, then you could use this uh, uh, other method. So let us talk about how to doff PPE in the midst of a serious uh, pandemic like COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. So the first thing is uh, remove the gown inside the room with the assistant of a second operator. Remove the first pair of gloves, then perform hand hygiene. During COVID-19, we were wearing two pairs of gloves. So after that, hand hygiene and remove the second pair of gloves and perform hand hygiene before exiting the room. Again, perform hand hygiene after exiting the room and put on a new pair of gloves. Use a germicidal wipe to disinfect a surface where face shield will be, pla will be placed. During COVID-19, we had severe shortage of all this PPE supplies, so we had to reuse them. Uh, hence this uh, uh, cleaning and trying to uh, reuse the PPE. Perform hand hygiene, remove the face shield by grabbing the elastic in the back and use a germicidal wipe to disinfect the face shield before placing it on the surface. Remove the gloves, then perform hand hygiene. Remove surgical mask without touching the front and discarding it, and then perform hand hygiene. I must also share with you during the COVID-19 pandemic, N95 masks were scarce, so we were reusing them and we were putting a surgical mask over the N95 mask. So that's where the surgical mask removal comes. Then remove the N95 mask without touching the front, then perform hand hygiene. Store your N95 mask and face shield for reuse, then perform hand hygiene. And then finally wear a surgical mask until the end of the shift, unless there's a need to wear N95 mask again for the next case. I hope this video is useful to you and I hope you pick up proper PPE, learn how to don properly and doff PPE properly and practice, practice, practice. Also practice hand hygiene. Thank you.